Welcome back folks. Today we're going to be cover the basics of coordinator routing or coordinator routes or URI routing whatever else. So today I'm going to be start from very scratch and as you can see here is just the basic installation of coordinator 3, okay? So coordinator 3 is still in, under development, but you can of course download the uh, uh download the uh, under development version of coordinator 3. 0 RC2. Uh, so if you wonder how you can grab a copy of coordinator 3, you can download. Uh, you can go to this uh, URL. This web is right here, coordinator.com slash download, and you can of course grab the download the coordinator 3.x or 3.0. Anyway, anyway, so okay. Now, if you wonder the URI routing is URI routing is just to uh, make uh, just to provide your user a cleaner URL or something like that, a much better way to uh, provide uh, to contact with our classes and our custom methods and their parameters so I'll be diving into that right now okay and we'll and we'll see live in action and how it's going to be work okay so first of all uh, I want to create a new controller uh, okay so this is my setup right here and if you wonder the news.dev domain is it's just a virtual domain it is not an actual domain anyway so let's begin so our controller stay inside the public under the application directory then inside the controllers directory so I'm gonna create a new controller here called youtube.php okay so this is my controller and I'm gonna uh, okay okay and as we know the basics of the controller is we can first of all define uh we can check define if it's defined or not so yeah we can do this and uh, okay let me increase the font size for you and then we define our class so class name is youtube and it makes sure the y or the first character of your class name is remains capital letter okay it's very important extends so it will extend the ci control oops, ci controller Okay. Now we're gonna create its uh, construct function. So the way we create a construct function is something like this. Now, if you wonder why we create a construct function, it's just to construct the parent uh, constructor. Okay, because CI controller itself is a class. We are extending. We are extending the class inside the in our custom YouTube class. So from the YouTube class, we need to uh, construct the CI controller construct uh, pair as well so just don't want to make you confused guys but we are just constructing our parent class constructor okay and it's also very important because either it's not gonna work actually so alright we all done and now let's say we're gonna create our uh, index method that's the default method for a controller okay okay so index and right here we're gonna load a view this load view and then uh, we're gonna say like uh, YouTube view something like that okay and I'm gonna create this YouTube uh, views right now so inside the views directory, I'm gonna create a new file called YouTube.php. Okay, so inside this, we're gonna do something like YouTube video, or something like that. And right here, we're gonna say, okay, we're gonna do a very simple test, and I'm gonna do it right now. Hello, world. I believe it should be work so let me go back to my browser and right here say slash index dot php and then slash youtube oh, that's cool and now okay it's not it should not be part of this video but if you never mind then I'm going to show you guys how we can remove this index dot php as well so in order to do this uh, what do we have to do it's go to the config under the application directory and go ahead and hit the config.php you need to make the index page 
just an MC. So you know to be delete this index.php from the index page in order to do that. But it will not listen because you are you are under maybe nginx or Apache server. So you need to tell your server that this combination, okay? And in order to do this, you need you need to have a HD access file. If you are under the Apache, then there is an easier way to do. If you go into the uh, coordinator URL, here's the documentation URL, and then you will be found found this coding uh, this HD access code right here. All you have to do is just copy this code and paste this into your uh, into your public directory inside your public directory. Okay, so inside the public directory, I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to say dot HD access. I'm going to paste all the all my HD access right underneath here. So what does it mean? If it's not a file or if it's not a uh, directory. Then we're going to redirect this guy to the index.php slash then whatever else here it is. Okay, just get a rough, rough idea about our Apache or about our HTX code down here. So let's try without the index.php right now and let's see what we got here. Okay, that's pretty much what we expect yet. And now let's go to uh, the point of our URI routing. Okay. So let me fire up my code editor and let me close the config.php and okay. So now what I wanted to do here is that I want to create here another file or not, maybe not. I'm gonna do what? I'm gonna say I'm gonna take some parameter here, okay? And what I'm gonna do is like uh, I'm gonna take my country uh, take take a username and take a country name, okay? Okay, so what should be the way to do that? Say user, and then there's some like a country. Okay, and then we will say data. Uh, now, yeah, we can do something like we can send an array of data, and inside of that, what we can do is like user, user is user. And then we're gonna say country is this country right here, okay? And then we're gonna sit past this uh, data and the username and the country inside our YouTube view, okay? So now let me go into the YouTube view and hello world, okay? That's fine. Um, and right here say welcome. user from country okay so what does that so what it does okay it will print the username and the country and it will be give a warm welcome for you guys there <laughs> now anyway I can wrap it in a h2 tag so it's pretty much looks good Okay, and now let me see how does its URL looks like. Okay, so if I go to the YouTube and then slash. Now remember, our, this is just a, this is just our controller name. Okay, this is the class name, and then we need to figure out the method name. So remember our uh, remember our method name is index. Okay, so. Here we go. Here's our index, and then we need to give our uh, the parameters of this index method. So there is two parameters. One is user, and another one is country. So for example, the user is um, so let's say my name Hassan, and then let's say my country name. Okay, and let's try with that. Oh, oh, oh! I'm missing something there. So I forgot to print the country name right here. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so. Uh, let me print it print it one more time and well that's going to be work it's pretty awesome now let's see what we can do okay uh, can we do something like this well let's try that let's try that out and so for example say you want that your user 
would just type or would just see something like this and that would print all this data right here and so you are just kind of redirecting this parameter and this parameter dynamically into your uh, into your index into your YouTube class inside the index method and let's see how we can achieve that so in order to do that what you have to do go to the application directory then inside of that application directory go to the config directory and right underneath that go to the routes.php and inside of right here what we have to do we need to define a new route so let's say route so route of what uh, we want to okay so we want to re redirect uh, okay, let me see the URL again okay this is my URL okay okay now let's say what we want to we want to get any character and then again any character and if something like that so inside our URL if we get any character then a slash and then if any character then we can try then we want to translate this to what then we want to translate this to something like this so dollar one okay so uh, let's see if it's really going to work or not so we are kinda like okay make sure it's still work oh I'm sorry I forgot to do this again okay it's still working that's great now let me uh, get rid of the get rid of our class and the method name let's try that out well it's still working that's pretty awesome now I believe you get the idea of how we can do work with the coordinator routes and how it can really help us to make or uh, provide a much more cleaner interface for our end user who is going to be use our service actually so I don't know should I get more uh, should I get dive into more, more or something like that but okay so I want to stop this video here and I would like to request you to I, I, I hope you get the idea and all I can uh, refer you to this page right here the, the official documentation of coordinator tree routing and right here you will find some fantastic articles fantastic examples of how you can uh, do more stuff with this so play around with this you can of course work with the regular expressions inside the routes each match it's really a lifesaver okay and okay so let's play around with this and I hope you're gonna enjoy this video and if it really helps that'll be my pleasure and again I'm Hassan and you can you can contact with me in Twitter or Facebook whatever you wish to do so thanks and if it's really helps you guys don't forget to subscribe again thanks for watching